Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, dear beloved one, to my YouTube channel today. If you're new here, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man that God uses. And I welcome you today in the name of Jesus. This is an amazing opportunity to bring the word of God to you. I need you to listen to this prophetic word and test to see if this is what God is saying to you. I woke up feeling led in my spirit to speak to someone about this. The Lord has activated your vision. You are a seer. Things cannot escape you. You get to see them. The Lord wants you to work on your interpretation of things. But I see in the realms of the spirit that as you continue to build your faith and as you continue to grow in the spirit, that God is bringing you clever and clever visions of what is happening around you, the people you should help, the people you should pray for, the people you should deliver. Now, this prophetic word is coming to confirm that God is speaking to you because sometimes you are in doubt of the very things that you see. A while ago, you used to have very clear visions. You would see things in the vision. You would see things in your dream. And they will be exactly, you know, that when you wake up, like they're going to happen exactly like that. And you'd be regretting, why did I not see something? Why did I not do something? For a while, that was lost. And now again, the Lord has reactivated your vision, your, 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 your ability to see. So God is sending this prophetic word to tell you to be on alert. The Bible says that God will do nothing without revealing it first to his servants, the prophets. No, the prophets. So the prophetic gift in you is to enable you intercede. It is to enable you um, help the people closest to you, the loved ones that, you know, are connected to your destiny to pray for them. So God begins to show you things concerning people and even things concerning yourself. And you cannot be in that place or that camp of doubt anymore. You should go past that. This is a good time to seek mentorship, to begin to advance yourself in this very beautiful gift. It also helps a lot in the deliverance ministry because the Lord begins to show you exactly the spirits that are in charge and what are manipulating the people that might come to you for deliverance or that might be in need of deliverance. It's a very amazing gift. And God has entrusted this gift in your hands because he knows that you can administer it to the body of Christ. You cannot abuse it. You cannot run away from it. You cannot deny it. You cannot hate it. It's time to step up and begin to advance that awesome gift that God has given to you. These are gifts of the Spirit. They do not come fully formed. They come in their seed form. The seed form. Because you have to invest on them. You have to, you know, do some background work. Like studying the Word of God. Like connecting to more higher prophets. Like um, being prayed for. For more accuracy. Like, you know, spending time with the Holy Spirit who is the originator of such gift. That way you begin to sharpen your, your, your spiritual gift even the more. You are not like everybody else. You are called. You are a chosen one. You are a set apart one. There is a huge call for the work of God upon you. You cannot ignore it any further. You cannot ignore it any further. When you run away from the call of God, there are certain things that cannot move very smoothly in your life. Because it is dependent on the maturity of your calling. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, I believe it's 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. As you progress in the, on your journey to, you know, bettering your giftings, you begin to realize that things around your life are taking shape. And sometimes, because you are laid back on your spiritual gift, maybe your finances are tied. Maybe 
your marriage is tight. Maybe you see that you are not making the progress you're supposed to make. And it's not because you are not doing enough work, but it's because you are doing work in the wrong direction. God is calling you through this prophetic word to come back to that calling, that unique, amazing calling of yours. And God is telling you that it is time, it is time, it is time. I decree and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that God will give you the grace to build yourself and to build that amazing calling that is in the inside of you. That God will help you to become all that he has destined for you to be. Now, who am I speaking to? As I'm talking to you, if this word resonates with you, you feel it deep down in your spirit that this is my word and apostle is talking to me. Go right now and take action. Pray to the Lord and say, I'm ready. I'm ready to answer the calling. I'm ready to move in line with the call and seek mentorship. I could help you. There are many other people that are offering mentorship programs into the prophetic. And you can just have to understand the gift. Understand what this gifting is all about. And see how it can be a blessing to you and the body of Christ around you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. And the Lord give you peace in Jesus name. The shalom of God rest on you. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus name I love you. And shalom.